Hey, this is Longest Solo Ever, and today we're talking about how to use a chromatic scale in FL Studio. If you have a chromatic scale, like the ones you can download from Kawhi Sprite's Twitter feed, or any other chromatics for the voices in your mods, whether you made them or not, this is the best way to load them into FL Studio so you can play them in a song. I did also do a tutorial on how to make your own chromatic scales, both in FL Studio and in Ableton, as well as how to load a chromatic scale in Ableton Live. If you're just getting started with music production, I do recommend Ableton Live over FL Studio. If you're already in the FL Studio world, this is the best tutorial for you. So a chromatic scale is a bunch of notes sung in a row by a character in Friday Night Funkin'. They sound like this. And this is the tool we use to make the instrument that, that sings the voices in a Friday Night Funkin' song. So it's essential that we know how to load this into a song so we can write music with it. These are the official chromatic scales from Kawhi Sprite's Twitter feed. Uh, Kawhi Sprite is the composer for Friday Night Funkin'. So these are the real ones right from the game that he used to make the songs in the game. You can download them right from his Twitter feed. There's a Google Drive link on there. If you just Google Kawhi Sprite Friday Night Funkin' stems, you'll find it. Back in FL Studio, what we want to do first, go to your channel rack here, which is this little button right here, or you can press F6 on your keyboard and we're going to add a new copy of slice x so you're going to want to in the channel rack find this plus button hit slice x and you'll be greeted with this crazy looking thing slice x is a sampler meaning it plays back audio files on a keyboard that slices up pieces of one big audio file into different notes it's made for like slicing up drum loops or vocal chops in edm and, and hip-hop music but this is really helpful for when you're slicing up a scale into different notes on the keyboard so we're going to go back to our file here uh, and let's grab boyfriend's chromatic scale here and i'm going to drag it right into this space here and just let go and it'll show up there you can see all these different notes now the way slice x works you can double click on a note right at the beginning and you can press this add marker button and just doing that process actually maps these notes to your keyboard let's check out how that works but that's going to take forever, so we're not going to do that. If you did that, uh, you can right-click on one of those markers and just choose Delete, and it'll get rid of it. So you want a nice clean slate here, and you're going to right-click on the Auto Slicing button and choose Dull Auto Slicing, and it's going to look for any big clear notes in here and put a marker on them. And wow, that was really fast. That's super easy. Let's go through, make sure we don't have any extra markers. So you can see here we have a marker of silence right at the beginning, and that's going to offset everything. Everything's going to be wrong because of that. So we're going to right click on this first marker and choose delete. And you can see this is marker number one. Let's scroll through here, make sure we don't see any doubled up markers or anything. Here's one right here. You can see there's an extra marker at the end of this note. Let's right click on that and delete it. And now we should have... We have boyfriend's voice that we can play like a piano. So that is how you load a chromatic scale into FL Studio. If you want to learn to make your own chromatic scales, I've made tutorials for that as well, along with how to do this in Ableton Live instead of FL Studio. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please subscribe and like for more tutorials like this one, along with Friday Night Funkin' metal guitar covers, new mods, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and happy modding.